so... Oh, hi. Yeah, that looks better. Do you want to come join me for a video I'm making? What video are you making? I'm making my intro video for my vlog. Uh, let me, uh, you know, brush my teeth, take a piss and all that. <laughs> what? That's going into the video. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, come on. Anyway, do you want to start that again? <laughs> yeah, let's try that again. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tiffany. I'm 25 years old. I live in Seattle, Washington, which is my personal favorite city in the whole wide world. But I'm going to be taking a short break from it this year because I have decided to take on the Pacific Crest Trail. What that means for me is I'm going to try to walk from the Canadian border down to the Mexican border in one shot. That still sounds really weird every time I say it. I will be starting at the beginning of July and that kind of came out of nowhere. I cannot believe how close it is. It's only about three weeks away and the panic has started setting in. So I'm pretty regularly freaking out. Uh, really excited, but definitely also freaking out. And I really can't believe how close it is. Oh my God. Ah. I did not always like hiking. When I was growing up, I didn't like going outside that much or exercising. I remember going camping a few times and that involved booking a campsite at a well-established campground with full bathrooms and I'm pretty sure our site even had an outlet. We're only about a 20 minute drive from home so when we forgot stuff we would just drive back home and get it. It's a little different from the camping that I do these days. It wasn't until after college that I was formally introduced to hiking. I moved to Seattle right after college, and if you're at all familiar with the Pacific Northwest, then you probably know that hiking and generally going outdoors is huge here. I wanted to see what it was all about, <laughs> and I had my friend, my very good friend Sophie, hey Sophie, take me on my first hike ever. And I remember the feelings that I had during it, and I hated it. <laughs> I was sweaty and in pain and dirty and I just didn't get it. <laughs> I didn't understand why people did this. I sort of told myself that I was never gonna go again. <laughs> then I started dating this guy who was much more into hiking than I was and he took me on a couple more hikes. And one of those hikes was my very first summit hike. For one reason or another, this was an entirely different experience than my first hike. And when I made it to the summit, I almost lost it. I don't think that I can properly put into words what I felt because I've tried a few times now to articulate what it was and I just don't know if I can. I felt strong and given that I had grown up not doing anything active practically at all, that was big. The fact that I was proud of doing something physically taxing was pretty huge for me. I was also seeing the Cascades from a vantage point that I had never imagined I would ever get to be at. Like I said, there was just a lot and I loved that feeling. That feeling was Great. It just so happened that the few weeks after that, I had friends here and there that wanted to go hiking. And they invited me, thank you friends. And without even trying, I realized that I had been going hiking every weekend for just about a month or so. This was back in the end of 2017. So I thought to myself, can I keep this momentum going? What if I try to do 52 hikes in 2018? Decided to try. I decided to challenge myself to do it, but I didn't tell anyone because I was so nervous that I wasn't going to be able to do it. So I kept it to myself, and at the beginning of 2018, I started going hiking once a weekend. I found ways to get myself out there. 
And that slowly turned into two hikes a weekend whenever I could fit them in. And then the days started getting longer. So I started going after work sometimes. And on July 14th, 2018, standing at Mount Rainier Base Camp, Camp Mirror, I made it to the top of my 50 second hike of 2018 and it is one of the proudest moments in my whole life. I was so, so proud of myself. And I didn't stop there. I kept going. I kept going. And somewhere in my year of hiking, I realized that day hiking wasn't enough. I wanted more and I wanted to, I wanted to go somewhere for a longer period of time. I wanted to go hiking every day. And this is where the Pacific Crest Trail comes in. I started thinking about it and I started saving. I started saving because I knew that I was going to want to do it sometime, some undetermined time. And now, now, here we are. <laughs> I don't really have many hobbies besides hiking and being outside so it's one of the few things i know how to talk about so thank you very much to the trek for giving me a platform to do nothing but talk about hiking the next time you guys see me i will either be on the trail or i will be in a complete state of panic probably questioning all of the choices that i've made to end up here <laughs> and more than likely i will be both of those things I'm really excited to get out there this year, so I'll see you guys on the trail. <laughs>